Welcome back to the channel. It's Model Rockets 321 once again. Before we move forward, please hit the like button and share with a friend. I just want to let you guys know we are running a giveaway right now. Check the links below. You can also follow the Model Rockets 321 Instagram account where you can also, the links there for the uh, contest also. It's just a giveaway. You have to do a few things to get the giveaway. And it's just a bunch of rockets and all kinds of stuff. So go check on that. Thanks to Estes and thanks to Matt Steele at North Coast Rocketry for um, providing the gift cards. And I'm providing the rest of the stuff here at Model Rockets 321. So go check those giveaways out. So in today's video, we're going to talk about igniters. Um, I have a few igniters laid out. I have a quip whip, clip whip and I have the Aerotech clip for the copperhead. We're just going to talk about these things right here. Seem to be a lot of issues lately with SD's igniters. Um, some people are having issues. Over the years, I've never really had an issue igniting motors with these. Um, just never gave me issues. If there ever was an issue, it's because I didn't have the engine up far enough. I mean, have the motor, have the igniter far up inside the um, engine nozzle, and it didn't ignite. So, never really had issues. Um, I didn't personally. Um, not. Not to the extent of anything I can, you know, want to voice an, a, an opinion or a, a problem with them. I just thought they were just, I thought they were fine. So here I have a very old igniter with um, copper leads on it. As you can see, it's even coming loose. I, I'm pretty sure this will work. I noticed that it also has a bunch of material on the end. That could be what the issue is also. So these have copper leads. This is a very old igniter. And this is another one that has a bunch of material on it, as you can see. Like some of the newer ones that people are complaining about, I have one right here, it's one of the newer ones. It don't have a lot of material on it as you can see, hopefully you can see that. It's just a little dab of this white material. I've seen that changed over the years, like it went from this white material to this black, to, I mean this black material to this white material, so I don't know um, what it is. I thought this was pyrogen, That's, I'm not sure, it could be pyrogen, I'm not sure. But I thought there was some material, and I also know there is material you can dip your igniters in. But I'm seeing all kinds of stuff and seeing some guys there painting uh, like nail polish on the ends of these and doing all kinds of stuff to get them to light. So I've never really had an issue. I haven't used, actually I have been skipping out on these ones. I've not been using these yet because I have a bunch of the older ones that come in this bag. Um, I have a bunch of them. So never really got around to trying these. But I'm going to try one right here live today. I'm going to um, have the controller here, my uh, command launch controller. I've got the clips here. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to ignite one right here. Everything is safe. I have a fire extinguisher. I have water. I have a wet towel. I have everything just in case anything get out of hand. And as a warning, do not try this at home. Do not, do not do it. Kids, don't do it. And um, you know, if you do, and you said you burn your house down, that's on you. But I'm telling you right here, right now, do not do it. I have my situation all ready in case anything gets out of hand. And I'm also going to ignite a clip whip to show you how to ignite um, two motors at once. Use a device called a clip whip which is right here is for uh, clustering. You can do many more motors also. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to ignite one of these. I'm going to ignite an older one or the standard size one. I mean, uh, yeah, more the older ones because it has the, the black material on the end. I'm going to ignite one of these. We're going to watch that. And then we're going to do one of the newer ones just to see the uh, difference. So I'm going to clear these out of the way. I'm going to clear these guys because I don't want anything in the way as I ignite this. So here's your clips, my command controller right here. You can see that clips. I'm going to attach to the leads. Yeah, come on. Attach one there, one there. Make sure they're not touching each other. So you have that there. Hopefully the autofocus is not being too silly. So we have that there. I have my command launch controller. You will hear a beep and then I will, I'm going to have to sit this down actually. I'm gonna have to sit this down. So I'll sit it right there. Hopefully that's still showing up pretty good. So I'm gonna just put this in there. I'm gonna do a quick three, two, one, and we're just gonna ignite it, and that'll be that. And three, two, one. And there you have it. Let go, rocket would have been gone. Key out, off. So there you go. Igniter burnt, burnt pretty good. It's not blown apart because there was no engine to blow it apart. I'll disconnect this. So there you go, have that. And you got that smell, so it gives a smell. So you have a smoke, a smoke alarm, it may detect. I'm in here, I'm gonna open this window actually. I don't want that, yeah, I can't believe that smell. That's pretty, pretty strong. So there we go. This is an older igniter, went well, everything worked perfectly. Batteries are good. 
And this, this command control is my favorite one. It has two uh, 7.2 volt batteries in there. And I can, that was just 7.2 volts. I just used one that time. But I can also run it with, um, with both. I can switch it so it can run a 14 point, would that be? 14.4 volts for the total power. So next up, I'm gonna um, ignite one of the newer uh, igniters. So here's a newer one with the white material as I was speaking about. You can see it right there. I'm not sure if it's pyrogen, like I said, I'm not sure if it's pyrogen. It may be, or it could be some new, new material I just don't know about. So I'm gonna hook the clips again. Like I said, folks, do not try this at home. I have everything I need around me to keep this situation safe. Hook up my clips. This is for demonstration purposes, so there we go. Turn the controller on. We're gonna go in three, two, one. And there we have it. A little pop right there. And I can see that was less of a burst. I'm gonna pull the key out. Controller off. That was less of a burst. I will admit that was less. It did give a burst, but I'm, I'm gonna watch the replay and it gave, it didn't seem as big as the older igniter, I will say that. It wasn't as big as the older igniter, I will say that. So I don't know if that can be an issue, but I believe it should still should be enough to ignite an SD's engine there, they're breaking apart like, yeah, so their, their wires like, is coming apart. So it should be enough to ignite a motor. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is, but people seem to be having issues with those. But like I said, I haven't used the new ones. I've used um, just the older style ones and um, a couple of these. I'm just gonna talk about these real quick. These are a copper heads, little different igniters. These are a single piece, but they are positive negative on each side. And this device right here, this Aerotech clip, you slide this, let me get make sure I'm in frame for you guys, sorry. You slide the igniter inside here and it touches the positive negatives with the teeth that's inside of the, uh, this clip right here. So a little different, a little more material on the end, a little more, a little more beefier. People use the name to call these crap, crapper heads. I used to hear that because people would have trouble um, lighting motors with them. And again, I made sure I had enough power when I would launch. I made sure all the batteries are fully charged and have it in the proper location inside the motors. Never had issue with this device and with these, never had an issue. So that's that. So next up, I'm going to hook up a clip whip and we're gonna do two igniters, demonstration purposes. Like I said, everything is safe here. Two igniters, one, igni one igniter there and one here. I'm actually preparing to launch my SR71 Blackbird again. So that should be coming up, um, coming up here real soon. So I'm gonna get this all set up and we will proceed to launch. It has just a double set of alligator clips on each end. This device is a clip whip. I'm pretty sure there's instructions on how to make these online for a clustering. If you guys get into clustering and you wanna do multiple motors or launch multiple motors, you will need the device like this. And there's other ways um, people have figured out how to do it. So let's get this all set up for you real quick. So attach here, attach here. Attach here and attach here. Make sure none of the metal is touching. Everything is good there. Make sure we're in frame for you guys. So this is a clip whip and I'm gonna actually boost the power on the controller to the full 14. I just wanted to make sure enough power, you know, gets delivered and it, it uh, ignites both igniters at the same time. So, so here we go, we're gonna go full power. Controller's on. Full power. There we go. And five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Both. Hands off. Key out. Off. Puff of smoke. Both igniters burn. Wow, that's ooh, smoky. I got the window open, so we're good there. So that is a clip whip. It ignited both motors at the same time. I mean, both igniters at the same time. As you can see, they both burnt. I will take those off. And there you have it. That is today's demonstration. Just want to show you guys that and talk about igniters. This is a very old igniter. Like I said, with the copper leads. I may burn this one just to see. I think these copper, I remember these being really well. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and burn this one. It's the last one I got here. Just wanted to show you guys these. So I'll hook this up as a bonus. 
It's very old. This is I have a few of these also. It's like the tape don't even it's not even holding it anymore. So the smell of igniters. You really never get to really smell them because the engine typically takes over that. Oh yeah, this is a yeah, this igniter is gone, man. It's like not even let me move this up here and I'll attach it. Let me see if we can get it to yeah, this is rickety rickety. So there we go. We'll do that. All right, power on. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that's an older one. That one burnt really well. I'm not sure if you could tell. I'm pretty sure you can. That burnt good. That was a good burn. Key out, power off, disconnect. Wow, it burnt that totally apart. So whoever was making these for SDs, if SDs was manufacturing them, whoever was doing this with the copper wire, that was a good burn. Like, it had a big burst. So, I'm pretty sure there's no um, issue igniting, as you can hear the dog. <laughs> All right, so we're doing good. I'm gonna shut this window now, because the dog, the dog even likes the igniter. So there you have it, folks. Model Rockets 321 here. The giveaway is going on. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Any support will be appreciated. That like and subscribe. Check the links below. And that is all I have for you today. Peace. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that's an older one. That one burnt really well. I'm not sure if you could tell. I'm pretty sure you can. That burnt good. That was a good burn.